So I'm not tactical, I'm not elite by any means, but I am training to save my life. Today I was practicing some drills from my fanny Stop. pack. So when Stay I do there. walk or run, I do carry, and I want to make sure that I'm practicing repetitions from this position. So if I'm in a situation that I do need to save my life or diffuse a situation, practicing some repetitions, learning the timing of how to unzip and how to pull is important. <laughs> For some reason, this lady's saying, oh, she, she's masculine, she's, if you like her, she's, you're gay, or if a guy likes her, he's gay. For me, I see that as, why are you trying to tear down another individual? Hannah Barron, I've had the opportunity to meet her in January at SHOT Show. Amazing, super nice, sweetheart, and all of a sudden, this lady's just trying to tear down. I will say the silver lining to this is that they're, it is bringing more attention and highlighting what Hannah's done in the outdoor world. And I absolutely love that. I'm from Montana. I grew up in a very outdoors country area. I've never gone cat, cat fishing, but that would be incredible. Um, and so for me, I believe the silver lining has brought a lot of attention, a lot of people to support her. And I think it's absolutely amazing. So the whole situation with Hannah, I can relate to for two reasons. One, the jealousy from other women. Two, certain men or select men want to put you in certain boxes. Firstly, in terms of that jealousy, when I was first starting CrossFit and getting into the community, I wasn't really good. I was that Kool-Aid CrossFit drinking drinking girl, and I wanted to try to better myself. And there were certain individuals that I thought were my friends, one in particular, that her and I built this relationship. And as I was getting into CrossFit and I wanted to be one of those athletes on the competition floor, she encouraged me to train and to get better and to want to beat her and other females out there. But as I got better and as my score started to improve and as the open would come around and I started doing better and better and getting to the point where I was beating her, that friendship or that support started to wane and she became envious and jealous of me. And it was really frustrating, really difficult because as someone that was really not understanding the situation, I'm like, how can a friend be there and now pull away from my success in terms of getting better and improving to get to the point where I can compete with these amazing ladies on the floor of competition. And it was really something new to me. I experienced some jealousy and envy from some women or girls in high school. I had a little bit of exposure to that, but not to this capacity where it would tear me down and try to belittle me. So I can understand or at least relate to the situation that Hannah is dealing with, with this lady journalist. We all have our own specific um, I would say things that we find beauty in, but never am I going to tear someone down or pull someone down that I don't agree with in terms of their beauty standards. If you have fake hair, fake nails, fake lips, that's fine. Go do you, right? But you shouldn't pull apart or pull someone down for what they're doing. Hannah's amazing in the outdoors and I would say fishing, hunting space. And to see that it's more power to her. So I can, again, I can understand and relate to that jealousy um, as I've gotten better and as I've seen more women that want to become a competitor within the CrossFit space, I'm all about it. Like, hey, this is what you need to do to get there. You need to work on your training. You need to work on your nutrition. There's so many things you need to work on, but I'm encouraging and supporting them. I also think back to that second point of the men, right? As I was starting to get into the CrossFit, as I was starting to weightlift, men would tell me, oh, you're going to look like a man if you do CrossFit. Oh, you're going to look like a horse if you weightlift, right? And for me, it's like, well, one, no, I'm not going to. But two, it's like I look at some of these profiles of these individuals and they have daughters themselves. They'd be like daughter of two, daughter of three. And I'm like, it makes me sad because their young daughter is going to grow up to a whoop, to be a woman, to be a lady. And at one point, if they come across a situation like that, how are they going to respond to that? Are they going to respond the same way that they just responded to me? So for me, it's frustrating and it gets me emotional and all, all fired up because it's like, that's not fair and not cool at all. But those are the, those are there are individuals like that out there. So what if you find yourself in a situation like this where someone's trying to belittle, belittle you, they're jealous of you, or if you find someone that's you know talking about you or trying to pull you down? One is focus on yourself. Build yourself up physically, mentally, emotionally. Go train, go to the gym, work out, eat well, get enough sleep, research, study, invest in yourself, right? Invest in your body, invest in your mind. That is something you can control. You cannot control those people out there. So I think it's really important to focus on what you can control, your body, your time, etc. Second, look at your environment. Put yourself in a community of like-minded individuals that are going to support you, that are going to uplift you. There's always going to be haters out there. There's always going to be the negative people that are going to try to pull you down. Put, put yourself in an environment or remove yourself from a negative environment, toxic environment, and put yourself in a positive one around people that support you. They love what you're doing. They're rooting for you and they're going to continue to be by your, by your side as you elevate yourself. And remember, 
Don't be afraid to fail. Embrace the struggles. Embrace that process. The more you fail, don't see it as, oh, I'm not making progress. You're learning from the failures. You're going to adapt and you're going to grow. And that those failures that you come across, they're going to shape you for the next time you come across that next challenge, that next mountain. So again, embrace the struggles, celebrate the successes, and enjoy the ride. If you're trying to lose belly fat, one of the best ways is to build muscle. Before we build muscle with the back squat, we're going to assess your range of motion with the air squat. For the air squat, you're going to start with your feet underneath your shoulders. Toes are going to be turned out slightly. As you descend into the squat, you're going to think of pushing your knees out to track over the toes, getting your butt as far down as possible, hip crease below the top of the thigh. Once you hit that end range of motion, you're going to stand up, getting full extension. If you can't get full range of motion, some scaling or modifications until you get that range of motion is to set, sit to a bench or box. While you do this, the arms can come out in front, keep it a nice elevated chest to allow you to get more comfortable at that bottom position. One of the best ways to build muscle is with the back squat. I use the five by five approach, which is five sets of five reps with two to three minutes of rest between sets. I will start around 75% of my one rep max. If you're new to squatting and you don't know your one rep max, you can start with a light to moderate load and use that as a basis as you start lifting. For the back squat, you're gonna have your hands right outside the shoulders and you're gonna have the bar set up so it's underneath your shoulders. You're gonna pull yourself underneath. You're gonna press up into the bar so it's resting in the traps. You'll take one step away from the bar. You'll have your feet underneath the shoulders. You'll take a nice big deep breath, brace your midline and send your hips straight down, pushing the knees over the middle of the foot. Get your hip crease below the top of the thigh at the bottom. Then you'll press that midfoot finishing by extending the legs and opening the hips at the very top. She's busted her ass and she's doing something she's love and she's genuine. And something she said and she shared on her Instagram was talking about, you know, build your own box. Don't fit into someone else's box. box. And that gives me goosebumps because that is so right. And that is something that I've always believed. Like, do you, stay true to you, be authentic, be real. If there's people that pull away from that, them, man like they're not worth your time and energy so for anyone that's seen that or have seen her and exactly like Adri said ignore the naysayers there are always going to be haters and again they have their own problems but to be able to see what Hannah's built and done for herself and her life to have anyone pull away from that like man no one's got time for that I don't got time for that you know